Minister Olifan said recent international labor organizations' discussions on decent work in the global supply chain was a reality between Swaziland and South Africa, saying that in most instances it is South African companies that have ventured into Swaziland to do business. The minister said it was possible that some workers employed by South African companies in the kingdom could be victims of abusive practices that are inherent in supply chains. Olifan said such malpractices needed to be confronted and solutions provided going forward. Minister, let me reiterate that the labor rights and protection of protocol in South Africa makes no distinction between a South African worker and a foreign national worker. The rights and protections extend to all without discrimination whatsoever. It would be therefore be correct that as our companies or investors seek business opportunities in the Kingdom of Swaziland, they must observe this principle and not take advantage of the Swazi. The minister further urged companies to equitably share their profits with their workers, reminding employers that if there were no workers, there would be no profits to enjoy. We know of situations where foreign nationals migrate to South Africa to seek economic opportunities and some of them do so without proper documentation. This has become the real reason why some employers exploit these workers, especially the farm and domestic workers. Employers always threaten to report them to immigration officials if they dare raise a complaint about being exploited. And for fear of being deported, these workers will then keep quiet. The visit by the South African minister and a delegation promises fruitful outcomes and a series of follow-up meetings which will ensure the implementation of these outcomes. For Swazi TV, I'm John Perez with Sitle Lamini, Ezulwini.